Hey dudes. What's up today? Hump day. Um, I'm back. Um, I got some sweet stories today. And um, I also brought some musical instruments. I mean, I can't really play them, but I can sort of play them. So I thought maybe I would uh, check that out too. I wanted to see if I could, hey Katie, if I could um, be following this on my Mary Bruno page, but I can't. So whatever, we'll just leave it. Um, and I'll just start my little top stopwatch. Um, drinking green tea today, no coffee. Taking a coffee day off. Well, I think. Green tea is good for you. It's got antioxidants, don't you know? Um, so I found this. I was cleaning out the shop and I found this little guy. That's hilarious. That's Iron Man. I feel like this thing is messed up. Like it's broken or something. Um, Angie, I'm going to be reading your book today. Very, very, very exciting. Oh, and I also brought my uke. Um, I've been practicing a little bit. Um, I was going to ask you guys, too, they're going to do a little story in the news leader, and I wanted to add a couple of kid pictures, and the Parker picture is pretty sweet. So I'm hoping everybody would be cool with that. But I want to, like, if people send pics of kids, like Zara and Legend, hello, um, then, like, put your name and where you are so I can, like, post that, because that is... That's cool. That's cute. And that's cool. If adults want to send pictures of adults watching, I'm down. I think that's hilarious. And I think you should. I'm not going to sing. I feel like that's aggressive. But um, I was doing um, You Are My Sunshine. I'm gonna work on that. That's my quarantine is ukulele and guitar. Okay, that's what I'm gonna try and work on. Um, also, I was gonna show you, I told you I was gonna print yesterday, Mac and Stella back in the house. Send me a picture of those guys. Um, I'm printing on wood. Look at wood, super thick in my press. What's up, Mick? Ciao, ciao. Um, so I'm going to print on these. Like I just tested it out. I printed a little car, but it's very thick. So uh, Sarah, you send me that little pic of little, your little again. Because I'm going to like, anyways, I'm going to post these pictures in the little news leader article. And I think it'd be cool to have the kid pics. Uh, so then I'm actually, um, Nikki, Nikki. Evie and Joel. Yay! Okay, so I ordered plates from Boxcar. Look at that. So usually I hand set type, but for these, since the the folks at um White Box White Box is it White Box Advertising? White Box Creative. Danella and Wilson, what up, David? Um, so they designed this, and so I told them to send me this so I could order plates, and the plates just came today. So I have something to do. What's up, Jubster? So I'm gonna be printing these. So this is what you see today, and tomorrow you'll see um, business cards for Jason, um, who is Harvest on the Hill, which is pretty cool. Sarah Mays in the house. Okay, so we'll stay tuned for that. Um, so I'm super stoked about this book. Hey, soups! Yeah! Okay, so this book 
is from Angie and Michelle. Okay, the legend of rock, paper, scissor. Oliver and Zelda. Okay, so this this book is hilarious. And I'm really excited about it. I read it once and it's rad. Okay? Yay! Everybody's here. Okay, so check it out. First of all, this rock guy, he is cool. He's very, very funny. And he's got a mean mug, you know, all the time. So, long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Andrew! So he's just bummed because he's like, what fun is it when you're just the guy that wins everything? You know? Rock traveled to mysterious forest of over by the tire swing where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, rock warrior. Okay, so that's hilarious because what's happening is um, he's talking about a tire swing and a, what do you call that? Clothespin holding underpants and the clothespin is who he wants to fight. And he's like, I will pinch you. And he's like, bring it on, dude. Which I think is very, very funny. And I like that underpants is like a theme moving forward. I'm kind of all about. Rock versus the clothespin. Rock is victorious. Da, da, da. So he just blasted through him. You know? I know. Underpants. And like, Clip is like, oh, snap, underwear flying, rope broken. Victory. Rock is a serious dude. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. That's hilarious because he also has a mean mug. And he says, you, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. And truth be told, he does look like a fuzzy little butt. Come on, let's do this thing. I'm not afraid of you. That's awesome. I do like apricots, side note. Fresh and dried. Rock versus apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rawr! I'm not afraid of you! <whistles> Little perfect leaf, but he is very, very angry and he shall try his best. Rawr! <laughs> okay. Rock is victorious! Ugh! I'm smooshed! And yet, Smooshing you has brought me no joy. Are you entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Squashed. <clears throat> you know? But he's like, that was too easy. Shooting fish in a barrel. And all of his buddies are like, yeah, oh, that was over quick. You know? What's going on? I like it. Even the tennis ball is watching. Okay. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, on a lonely and windswept desk mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match, 
and there he met a large square monster. Paper is pretty cute. He's got a little whale on him. Hilarious. And he's standing on a mouse because he's got paper legs. Okay. And he comes across a big square monster. And he guesses to what that square monster is. I'll tell you what I think it is. He's also got a mean mug. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, yes? Then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Da -da -da. So he's like, lipping off, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, pew, 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 jam. Paper wins. Box monster down for the count. Christopher Murphy. What's up, buddy? Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix. Dun, dun, dun. That's hilarious because you know we all have those. You know, they start all good and juicy and crunchy and salty, and then uh, end up in the bin. Okay, I like it. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, foul wizard, he's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies. It's awesome. Look at their little faces. This must be like yogurt covered raisins. That's maybe a banana, dried banana, not my favorite. Olive! Um, what is he maybe? He's a chocolate covered raisin. Peanut. Yeah, it's no contest. Raw! Contest, I mean, easy peasy. Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of mom's home office. I like how he's shouting. Raw! And now he's sad. I just want a fair fight, man. Why is this so difficult? With his little paper legs. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Is that whale saying something? At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Absolutely brilliant. Who doesn't have that in their junk drawer? Rubber bands making a ball, tacks, pen, some sort of a keychain. But look at this. More keys, spare change. Everybody has eyeballs. Eyeballs, pens, pencil. And I love that he says he's a... He's a round monstrosity, and it's a tape. It's a tape guy. That is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. I'm telling you. Scissors versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of refrigerator freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. Dino chicken nuggies. Amazing. Whoever wrote this book, I want to be their friend. Drew Daywalt. Look at it. Da, da, da. Yup, made their way over to the fridge. Stuff hanging on the fridge. Going up to the freezer to find the nuggies. I came from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. 
bow before our child pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur shaped nuggets. Dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets win? Wait, Bob Tucker, yay! Look at these guys. They're all pretty miffed. I mean, like, when you challenge someone to a battle, stuff's gonna get real. <laughs> Things are happening. <laughs> and really, dinosaur chicken nuggies. Hard to resist indeed. No, wait. No, they don't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so, scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Dun, dun, dun. Chicken nuggies put in their place. Sad. Look at me, I am too good. Burp, burp, burp. Okay. Then one day, in the great cavern of Two Car Garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. Well, if by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I am wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. That is hilarious because it's a showdown and they're talking about pants, but he doesn't have pants because he's a rock. This is getting very tense. Rock versus scissors. <clears throat> Okay, who wins in this one? An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Da -da -da. So, finally someone beat Scissors, but still, Mean Mugger, raw, who can beat me? Scissory one. I know someone who can. Well, hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Yeah, Rock is really unhinged in a way. You know, because really, those aren't fighting words. But he's really just uh, tense. So he's like, I'm about to take you on, paper. Hey, Lynn. Rock versus paper. Oh, the whale is saying something. He's saying, ahoy. Do, do, do. Epic battle ensues. Guess what? Uh -huh. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper. That's fine for you but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, Paper. Wait, what? So he's happy now. Look at him. Look how happy and cute he is. Yay! And he's like, well, dang, nobody can beat me. And then he's like, oh, yeah? Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> Scissors versus Paper. You beat me! So that's FYI. I'm pretty sure you can fix the backward picture. When you go to live stream, there's a magic wand in the... Okay, I'm going to have to look into that. Michelle, you're saving me. Because for right now... Backwards, but I still get it. Do, do, do. So now, what we're figuring out is that rock, paper, scissors are all equal. But they can beat each other. And then the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had met, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said 
that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, pointing to you, wherever you point, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors. You know how they honor them? By playing rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, that was epic. So far, favoritest book ever. Okay. Thanks, Two-Tone, for being awesome. Um, okay, so I'm going to look into that, Michelle. You're a saint. You know, I don't know stuff. I, da, 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 stuff. I know printing stuff. I don't know interwebs really at all. I'm figuring it out, but... Ooh, that green tea is very grass-like. Okay, one more. This one is from Rachel, Sarah, and Elsa. Diary of a Worm. And it's hilarious. Okay, ready? Okay, right, right, right. Here we go. Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin. So he's obviously writing a diary. Okay. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. The earth gives us everything we need. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel. Help earth breathe. And three, never bother dad when he's eating the newspapers. Okay, so there's worm. Super cute. There's the earth. There he's digging holes. Worms help the earth breathe. There's dad chomping newspaper. <laughs> March 29th. Today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First of all, his legs got stuck. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. Tomorrow he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. Yeah, I don't think spiders dig. Confused. And look at this. Hilarious. I think I twisted one of my ankles. Yes, he's got eight. So that's hilarious. Look at his cute little face. Makes me want to like spiders. And then he's, you know, he, spiders don't eat dirt. It's, I understand you guys want to be friends, but this is... This is a struggle. You know, a struggle. Pew. Okay. March 30th. Worms cannot walk upside down. So spiders can do spider things and not worm things, and worms can do worm things and not spider things. What's up, Luis? So that's pretty funny. Look at that little dude. There's a farm, truck. Looks like pigs, sheep. I like these pigs. April 4th, 4th. Fishing season started today. We all dug a little deeper. Did you guys hear something? April 10th, it rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is very dangerous. So they're hiding out in their little worm house and they want to go fishing, so they're going to dig, and they're like, he's just reading a book, and they're chilling in Worm House. Grandpa. Yeah, this is getting too close for comfort. Bait. And then hopscotch. What happens when you hopscotch? You crunch these dudes. I don't know about that. I mean, I see them on the sidewalk every time. April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made, made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. And then there's a little note in this little worm's lunch that says, eat all your trash, XO, mom. That's hilarious. Little notes from mom, little notes from mom. Kids in the lunchroom, and their tables are mushrooms, and their chairs, bottle caps. Hilarious. She's, she's mad. Dude. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. April 20th, I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wriggled up right between them and they scream. I love it when they do that. Ah, we're just trying to play marbles. Ew. 
I think if I saw a worm with a baseball cap, I would not scream at all. But he's like proud. See you later, kids. I'm going to play with your marbles. Sammy. May 1st, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first ant I saw. There were 600 more of them in line. I stood there all day. Uh -huh. Grandpa, grandpas are good to learn from because they know all the things. Little kids, do not listen to this guy. And then look, he's like, good morning, good morning, hello, good morning, hello, good morning, good morning, have a nice day, good morning, hello, blah, 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 blah. So he really committed. I think that's very cool, but also, dang, dude. Who got that kind of time? That's funny. It's a lot of ants. May 8th. I had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. That is hilarious. You know? One, two, buckle my shoe. Whatever you do when you play hopscotch. I don't think I know how to play hopscotch. But look, he sleeps in a Lipton tea bag box with leaves. And his mom is like, honey, what I tell you about eating garbage right before you go to bed? Hang up your hat on your tea bag box. So cute. I think I like worms now. May 15th, I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me that you need legs to be cool. And then he ran. And I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. Spider. Being mean. May 16th, I made Spider laugh so hard, he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? See, sometimes friends are nasty. But then he made him laugh with this fake arrow through his head. Thud. You know, it's good being funny. May 28th, last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. I think worms have great sense of humor. <laughs> like, cause they're just, he's got a bow tie, some sweet glasses. And they're just, they're like, yep, we can't put our hands or feet or knees or elbows in because we're worms and we have only heads and tails. So, but they're, they're hilarious. You know, I really think worms are people I might want to party with. June 5th, today we, today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. Look at, that must be the art teacher, classic art teacher with the uh, goatee look and a little beret, you know. And he's like, ah, and he's like, oh, check me out. And he's like, I'm taking a nap. And then they're like, hey, son, you're very talented. <laughs> Lexi's in the house. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always just look like her rear end. That's hilarious. Burn, because worms, Really, same, same. Spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. Ha <laughs> ha, burn, brothers and sisters. I know all about that. Mom's like, hey, you be nice. And she's like, ha <laughs> ha, he's getting yelled at. Seriously, this worm is awesome. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but somebody's got to do it. I mean, check that out. You know? Like that they would have little tiny suits and ties and little tiny sunglasses and little tiny earpieces. I mean, that's... I just say, you know, goes to show. Whatever you want to do, you can make it happen. Just figure out where to go so you don't get schmooshed. Okay. July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. I can't chew gum. I can't have a dog. And all that homework. Hmm. 
Yeah, that is a bummer. So, but do the jackets have arms? <laughs> so, bummer, because I love bubble gum, and I have a bubble gum machine that I showed you the other day. So that is a bummer. Not having a dog, hugest bummer, because I love dogs. But look, hey mom, can we keep him? No! I don't know what dogs feel about worms, but probably not a good thing. And then all these books. Lots of homework, I guess. Digging, soil, my casting journal, night crawlers, and compost 101. They do have to learn a lot about compost. We love composting. It's great. Right, Lex? July 29th. Three good things about being a worm. I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities. No teeth. Pretty legit. I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house because they live in mud. And I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? <laughs> Dad loves him because he's all dirty. Dentist. Hey, dude, why do you even bother coming here? Oh, I just like to be your friend. Okay, well, good job. Okay. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget we're even here. But like Mom says, the earth never forgets we're here. Hmm. I love that. So there's their house. He's at the mushroom table with the globe, looking at stuff, learning about composting. There's everybody's rooms. And other stuff. Giant butterfly. Yeah, worms are good. Worms are good. We shouldn't be sad, because they're good. Yeah, I like it all. We got some photos here. Uh, Mom and Dad's anniversary, gross. Um, Isn't that leaf awesome? Uh-huh, that's a 20 spot. Um, I finally found this really cool rock. That's a baseball. And you got stung by a, a bee. Got all swolled up. And what are they scared of there? My sister's slumber party, my own comic, and my favorite pile of dirt. Hilarious. We like this one. Doink. That was a good one. Um, I'm, I'm gonna sing you out with one more little uke. Uke tune. Um, my goal in quarantine time is to master the uke and the guitar, well, master, you know what I'm saying. But, they're so fun and light, you know? And then also, I'll toot you one more little tutor on my broken little recorder. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay. Um. Also, tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be two more awesome books that will make you laugh. Send me pictures. If you want to look at old ones, they're on my website, MC Bruno Press. And, um, Andrew. And also, oh, I'm going to have those cards printed tomorrow so we can look at those. And some other stuff. And have a great day, everybody. I'm going to figure out the flipping stuff too.